Supplements are interesting because everybody feels like it's a quick fix and there must be, you know, one product out there or some product out there that's going to give me the results that I want. Um, unfortunately, that's not really the case. The actual word supplement obviously means to add to, to provide value, additional value to whatever you might already been doing. So, you know, you can supplement things in life by adding, you know, extras here and there to better the outcomes of whatever you're trying to achieve. Now with supplements, what we really want to focus on is having a multivitamin every day. Uh, that's very cost effective and also just helps to ensure that we get a wide range of nutrients on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, we also want to have vitamin D3 and we also want to have fish oil as well. So those three supplements are more important than any other supplements out there in the market. Uh, typically, if you go to a supplement store, you're not going to find a multivitamin, vitamin D3 or fish oil, you know, as a primary focus because they probably are so widely available that people don't really get excited about them. But those three supplements are, you know, non-negotiable. Um, they are very essential, so make sure that we're taking those. In addition, you could consider having magnesium citrate, uh, you know, in the evenings to help to improve relaxation, um, you know, reduce things like cramping and improve your training performance and recovery overall. Uh, we can also look at creatine supplementation, which will help to strengthen and, and uh, improve your performance again in the gym. Um, creatine can actually add some weight to your body right? People freak out about, you know, being heavier because they're on creatine. What that's doing is pulling more fluid or water into the muscle, making the muscle bigger, harder, stronger, and to perform better, basically. So any weight gain from creatine is typically going to be a good outcome and would be deemed lean mass, not body fat. So that's not a bad thing at all. In addition to supplement with other supplements that we can think about, a B vitamin complex can help with energy, um, you know, give your body some more B vitamins, which are typically not really included in a multivitamin supplement or to a high amount anyways. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much it when it comes to supplements. There are some other additions that we could consider, uh, but it really depends on an individual circumstance. Uh, you know, whether, you know, we have pre-workouts, whether we have, you know, high amounts of caffeine, whether we have certain supplements to help with our sleep, um, you know, maybe you're dealing with uh, being overwhelmed or anxious all the time, there are some supplements that can help with that as well. And if you have a deficiency in any nutrient, then again, of course, supplements are going to be there for you. But uh, that's pretty much it when it comes to supplements. Of course, whey protein is a supplement as well, so I should mention that. Whey protein is a very convenient way to get your protein target every day. So, you know, I do recommend that you invest in some whey protein powder as well. And that's it. Nice and simple.